it is said good ideas are a dime a dozen but they are not worth a broken nickel until you implement them we may have the knowledge of all the libraries of the world in our head but if we don't utilize it that knowledge is really no help to us so the gap between knowledge and its implementation is bridged by one word called discipline today on day 17 of this happiness challenge let us ponder over the importance of discipline and self control in our lives in the 1950s a researcher in stanford called walter michel did an experiment to study the self control of 4 year old toddlers His experiment was ingenious. He would leave the child in a room by itself with a sweet in front. Having told the child, "If you like, you can enjoy this sweet, but if you hold on for 20 minutes, I will come back, take this away, and give you two sweets instead." For some of them, it was a no-brainer. there is a sweet it is the source of pleasure there is nothing to think about eat it some children held on for 2 minutes but then succumbed and ate it some children held on for 7 to 8 minutes and some children continued holding on for the full 20 minutes and were rewarded with two sweets Many years later the study was continued to find out how the children had been performing in life some very interesting facts came out it was discovered that the children with maximum self control they were excelling in studies as well they had better physique they were not plump they were better at interpersonal relationships because they could control their emotions and their moods they were having less disrupted marriages or lost jobs and practically no criminal conviction on the other hand the children who were at the lowest end of the spectrum without self control had been getting into all kinds of problems they were dropping out of their college they were losing jobs they were having broken marriages and many of them had repeatedly visited the prison as well this led to the interesting observation that one important factor that correlates to success in every field of human endeavor is self control discipline based on the virtue of will power social researchers further analyzed this and they discovered that proficiency in any field of human activity is directly correlated to two virtues of the personality one is the intellect and the second is the will power now intellect is somewhat innate there is not so much one can do to expand it but will power is something that is very much in our hands and this is also the attribute that is maximum tested in modern times because our ancestors a few centuries ago did not have 
as many willpower tests as we do. Today, you may be working in your office on the dreary task of preparing the memo for your boss. But at the mere click of a mouse, you can take your mind away to surf the internet. So in the days of social media, internet, video games and television channels, the challenges to willpower have multiplied greatly. Now as grown-ups, what can we do to enhance our willpower? Fortunately for us, willpower too grows with exercise like the muscles do. For example, if you engage in typing, the portions of the brain required for typing keep on adding the grey matter. Similarly, this willpower comes from the prefrontal cortex of the brain. And the more you exercise it, the more it develops. Thus, willpower too can be enhanced with exercise and the best exercise for enhancement of our self-control is meditation. Meditation entails avoiding distracting thoughts though they may be pleasurable. Keeping our focus on the object of meditation though it may be painful. Studies have revealed that in a three-hour meditation session, the functioning of the brain changes and in 11 hours of meditation, the brain activity transforms completely. So utilize this tool and grow in your self-control and willpower to increase your proficiency in all fields of human activity. If you are not already meditating, let today be the day when you launch yourself on this wonderful journey. And even after that, if you find that your willpower is still insufficient, I'll give you another tool tomorrow which is the power of habits. Thank you.